Okay, the first recording that we have here is actually dealing with the image of the brain from the collection of anatomy images on page 23. And what you'll find here is that we have uh, the left half of the brain, which uh, doesn't display a whole lot of what we've discussed thus far, but it does discuss uh, a few key things. For example, the largest part of the brain that we talked about is actually the cerebrum. It's dealing with this entire pink area here. All of this mass is actually the cerebrum. This brown area down here is known as the cerebellum. And then if you look down here, you'll notice that this little small area that you can barely see is part of the brain stem. Now, of course, uh, you can tell in the image book that it talks about a hemisphere. Well, half of your cerebellum is a hemisphere and half of your cerebrum is a hemisphere. The cerebellum here is only half, it's the left half, that's the left cerebellar hemisphere and this is the left half of the left cerebrum hemisphere. The cerebrum is made up of lobes, and the lobes are also named for the region that they're in, as well as the bone that's actually covering them. So we have the frontal lobe, which is this area here. We also have the temporal lobe, which is this area here. We have the parietal lobe, which is this area up here. And then we have the occipital lobe, which is this area here. If you learn the bones of the skull, then you know that the temporal bone literally covers this entire area right here. And then we have the frontal lobe, which is covered by the frontal bone. You'll probably remember the frontal lobe as the area where they used to do frontal lobotomies. If you ever saw the movie One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, you remember the individual got a frontal lobotomy, a portion of his frontal lobe removed. Up here is the parietal lobe, and we'll be up on the parietal lobe in just a moment, with last but not least the uh, occipital lobe, which also uh, is the area for your visual cortex, which kind of explains uh, this area here and being struck behind the head and having problems with vision. Now, there's a very important group of structures that are actually located on top of your cerebrum here. And if we flip that up, you'll be able to see where this little indention that runs down the top of your brain, uh, that little indention is a little valley. As a matter of fact, it has a name that means valley. It's known as the sulcus, more importantly, the central sulcus. The word sulcus means valley. Uh, this is in the middle of your brain here. And in front of the central sulcus is what's known as the pre-central gyrus. Uh, the word gyrus means hill. So this is the hill in front of the central sulcus, pre-central gyrus. The hill in front of the valley. And then you have the post-central gyrus. In other words, the hill behind the valley. So you have the pre-central gyrus the central sulcus, and the post-central gyrus. Now, to add one more thing to that, uh, we also find that there's a specific cortex located on both of these gyri. The pre-central gyrus is the home for your premotor cortex, and the post-central gyrus is the home for your pre-sensory uh, cortex.